So we have uh, several parameters in ophthalmology that uh, measure to track disease progression, and we will be simulating those to see what it might look like. So yeah, we have things like color blindness and uh, peripheral uh, vision loss. So those are obviously the simple ones. We dive into the code. We want a flask application. This will be the structure. We have our JavaScript code. Uh, some styling they have some uh, of the prompts uh, there's not much happening in the back end at the moment currently the bot decided to pop everything into html so we'll have to uh, split it up so we want just one uh, video canvas i want to make sure when this is progression zero the video uh, footage is on we want to add the additional uh, controls, additional parameters. So I guess we'll have the you know, the cloudy uh, view, etc. So we have color blindness, peripheral visual loss, at uh, least uh, potential. Yeah, I want to focus on that. Uh, split the thing into a different uh, uh, code. It's always defaults uh, splitting uh, into separate folders like JavaScript, but I don't like it. Okay, so we can have blur, a glaucoma a simulation, a brightness cataract simulation, a contrast sensitivity, age-related macular degeneration, tunnel vision, varying the clear field of vision useful for showing advanced glaucoma stages, color saturation, for color vision deficiency. Okay, the flask app is still uh, empty as requested would like to do more more uh, stuff in javascript in the front end okay we want the description at the bottom the thing will call main.js and it's static for but that's right like those extra folders we don't really need them yeah call it main.js thank you very much this can be the complete the uh, css see what it does okay and that's fine okay a couple of things and use the following sure make sure the image being updated when input changes and let's see if we can do it we have the better version before but uh, yes need to do quite a lot of changes to it we have the sliders pulling up data from the sliders here we have the function draw we had it already but it wasn't actually doing anything apply filters return image data something's wrong apply effects it's a good addition ba -ba 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 -ba. i wonder how much would it cost uh, to get a human programmer to do this and then uh, how do we actually know they're not uh, using an LM to generate the code? Okay, we have JavaScript. Okay, blur. Mm, it's a bit weird. Okay, a brightness. Wait, what's the default? So you can have a brightness over saturation. Contrast sensitivity doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's why. It's why how the tunnel vision is so. Uh, okay, I have color saturation. Tunnel vision doesn't work like that, does it? I had it better before. Okay, a couple of things. Contrast sensitivity doesn't do anything. Okay, a couple of things to improve. Uh, first, we'll like a description of this uh, web application, how to use it, the explanation of each uh, control, and what type of ophthalmology condition does it uh, stim simulate. And now I think tunnel vision is not very realistic. Uh, we had a better version before. Contrast sensitivity and color saturation don't seem to do much. Uh, let's do this much. Yeah, the, tu the tunnel vision, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't uh, look very reali realistic, does it? Hopefully it can uh, improve. It's Why is it refusing to generate code? Tunnel vision contrast. Let's check it out. We need a function of one uh, liner. 
come on. It doesn't look very re realistic, does it? How do we make it more realistic? Yeah, blur already makes everything uh, black and white, so uh, color saturation then doesn't uh, do anything. If you haven't uh, checked out bodychaos.com, all the tools we make eventually available on this website, so go check it out. Don't forget to turn your ad blocker off. This way you will be supporting the project. We can make uh, better tools for you, like so. Yeah, this one might need uh, more work. More work, more work. It was better before. I suspect there's also a potentially... Yeah, I don't want to do coding myself. Uh, well, for multiple reasons. First, because I'm not good at it. Second, um, is that the bot will be really confused. The one contrast sensitivity that doesn't do anything. The ID is con a contrast. Check that we actually a contrast slider. 